In tonight's Health Watch, amazing new technology helping surgeons perform the most delicate of all operations, brain surgery. It saved the life of a Westchester teenager whose headaches were from a brain tumor. Dr. Max Gomez is here now with this story. Doctor. That's right. And you know, Christina Jafrida's brain tumor was actually benign, but benign brain tumors can still be deadly. There's just no room in the skull for a tumor to grow. And when it starts pressing on vital brain areas, bad things start to happen. But removing a brain tumor without causing more damage is very delicate work. Christina Giafrida was a normal, active, and apparently healthy 18-year-old, just going to school and living the life. Then she started getting headaches, a sore throat, plus some other symptoms she didn't think were related. The headaches, they were almost a nine at times. The swallowing was when I was like, Eating almost, I would find it hard to push down the food. Still, Christina never thought it could be anything really serious until one morning when the pain was so bad, she went with her mom to the ER. He took the CAT scan. He did one of my head as well with the throat, and they said that uh, they found a tumor sitting on the left side of my brain. It was some tumor, large and pressing on her brainstem and several vital cranial nerves, so that even being benign, Dr. Constantinos had Japanias, director of neurosurgical oncology for the Mount Sinai Health System told me that it could lead to devastating consequences. She could go deaf in the in, on that left hand side. She could have paralysis of her face. You know, she could lose the ability to swallow. Um, she could have problems with her balance. Christina's only option was brain surgery. Fortunately, Dr. Hajapanias had begun using a new high-tech microscope. That's a cross between a super high-def digital scope, a robotic arm, and a GPS system that allows him to know exactly where his instruments are in the brain, combined with a heads-up display of important brain images. Now, just six months after surgery, Christina is happy and healthy. Right now, I'm doing amazing. <laughs> like, I feel so much better. I'm in school, I'm in work, I'm doing better than I actually was before. Now, there is a small chance that the tumor could grow back, but because it's benign and very slow growing, doctors will be able to catch it with the regular brain scans Christina will continue to have. Synaptic, the maker of this robotic microscope, is releasing an even more advanced version soon that will enable neurosurgeons to safely remove even more difficult tumors without damaging normal brain. The robot's not doing the surgery, it's helping the surgeon. No, and the robot's not perfect either. No, nothing's perfect, especially gotcha. not in medicine. Gotcha, Thank doctor. you, Dr. Max. Thank you, you bet.